In this video, we will go over a few updates to the interactive curve tools. A base mesh slot has been added to allow better calculations for the tools. Before we go into that, I want to show you a new ability that we can now do with the Sculpt tool. When moving the root of a curve, the old way is to unlock the root, and then we do our best to move it into a position on the base mesh. Now if you hold down Shift and left mouse click drag the curve, you will be able to snap the root of the curve to the base mesh. You get a warning, and that's where the new base mesh slot comes in. After adding a base mesh, you will be able to snap the root of the curve. When the mouse is released, it's doing a normalize based on the size of your brush radius. If you wish to normalize just a few curve points, set the radius smaller before sculpting, and then manually clicking on the normalize button to smooth the curve a bit more at the end of the sculpt. You will also be able to root snap multiple curves at the same time. Now, let's go to the Add Curve tool and see how the base mesh works. Before, when you have geometries that's hidden or hidden in a display layer, the Add Curve will still take in those geometries into account. You can see that the Add Curve tool is actually adding curves to the hidden geometry in this case. To fix that, let's define a base mesh. And now if we add a curve, it will properly be added to the intended geometry, even if the other geometries are visible. The same will apply to the Draw Curve tool. Defining a base mesh will let you draw a curve only from that geometry. You can clear the base mesh to draw from all geometries in the scene. Again, if you only want the curve to grow from a specific geometry, make sure you define it.